friends, welcome back to Miss Ocasio Reads. I am Miss Ocasio and I'm so excited to read with you today. Did you know that the rainforest is made up of four different layers? It's true! Today we'll go on a magical adventure to stop on each layer of the rainforest and learn about the plants and animals that live there. But first, all aboard the umbrella vader, going up. If I Ran the Rainforest by Bonnie Worth. I'm the cat in the hat, and it's time that we get to go to a place that is steamy and wet. It is a rainforest, the reason is clear. About 100 inches of rain falls each year. Down at the equator, I'll show it to you. Your mother won't mind very much if I do. To a tropical rainforest, off we will go. There are three other kinds I think you should know. The seasonal kind has months that are dry. A cloud rainforest sits 3,000 feet high. A mangrove rainforest grows on the coast. Rain falls on the tropical rainforest most. Dear Sally and Dick, for your information, the reason it's rainy is called transpiration. Transpiration. Plants lose water through pores in their leaves. Warm, wet air rises into the sky. Wet air cools and forms rain clouds. Plants soak up rain through their roots. A rainforest has four floors, you might say. We'll visit each one, so please step this way. My umbrella vader will give the best view. To the uppermost floor it will take me and you. Emergence is the word that we use to call these trees that grow up 300 feet tall. Fourth floor emergence. They might be quite tall, but I'm here to report. Their roots don't go deep, but they still give support. Buttress roots grow above ground like a fan. To keep trees from falling, that is nature's plan. Who makes their home here? Those who like heights best. Buttress roots. An eagle named Harpy here makes her high nest. This gaggle of parrots of colorful hue are macaws of scarlet and yellow and blue. Now we will go down to floor three, where lower treetops form the green canopy. It keeps rain and sun off the floors down below. It's also the place where the epiphytes grow. These plants have roots that hang here and there. They suck up the moisture right out of the air. Howler monkeys, lianas, sloths, toucans, orchids, tree frogs. The canopy is the most crowded of spots. Here monkeys and tree frogs and birds can eat lots of fruits, nuts, and bugs, and the nectar of flowers. It is noisy round here and it's busy all hours. Red-eyed tree frogs. Some animals here, I have just found, live their whole lives without touching the ground. The wet leaves are slippery, movement is tricky, and that's why their toes and their fingers are sticky. In the canopy, hark, the hummingbirds hum. Over 200 kinds, that is quite a large sum. The hummingbirds sip at the nectar from blooms, from flower to flower, it flits and it zooms. This little bird helps the flowers to grow because pollen sticks to its body and so. When the pollen gets brushed from its feet and its head, it causes the pollen to scatter and spread. Pitcher plants. This plant gives an insect a most deadly ride. It slips when it sips and gets trapped inside. 
strangler fig. If this plant can't root, it will grow on another. The vines twine and squeeze and then finally smother. The understory is the next stop, floor two. I'm afraid not much sun can make its way through. These vines and ferns grow where it's dim and hot. Spider monkey lives here and the wild ocelot. Camouflage is the word to describe a design that makes things blend in and so hard to find. Find six hidden things and you'll win a prize. The sure way to win is to sharpen your eyes. Last stop, the forest floor. The doors open wide, and when we look out, it is quite dark outside. Is anyone home? At first you'd say not. There's mostly leaf litter, dead plants, and some rot. But jaguars prowl, snakes slink and they slither. Insects and spiders creep yon and hither. Now look even closer, and you will find among the life here is our own humankind. For 4,000 years, they lived here unharmed. They've hunted and some of them even have farmed. They know where to find the food for a meal. They know which plants poison. They know which plants heal. You've seen all four floors. See if you can list them. These four floors make up a complete ecosystem. But something has happened within recent years. A thing that is going to drive me to tears. Millions of acres of land every year are cut down for reasons too long to list here. If I ran the rainforest, you know what I'd do? I'd make a few changes. That's what I'd do. Howler monkeys, harpy eagles, ocelots, kinkajous, macaws, snakes, jaguars, eaglets, spider monkeys, toucans, sloths, native human. I'd say, chop somewhere else, people. Leave us these trees. Don't cut them down. Save these trees, please. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's story. And remember, the rainforest has four layers. Can you name them all? Ask a grown-up for help to look in the description below for a fun activity that goes with this story. See you next time. Thanks for joining me today for Miss Ocasio Reads. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share this video with your teachers and friends. Subscribe to read more stories with me. Thanks for watching.